Hey everybody, JCB here at The Awesomest, and you're watching The Awesomest YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Quan Fun Lavalier Lapel Microphone. Now, longtime awesomeites might remember that a little while ago I did a review of another lapel microphone, and I really liked the audio quality that that microphone gave me, so why the heck? Am I doing another review on another lapel microphone? Because my channel, I do what I want. But also, I made the mistake of bringing that microphone to work with me so that my students could use it for their film and media projects. And somebody, don't know if it was staff or if it was a student, but somebody stole it along with an 80 gigabyte portable hard drive. So if you're out there and you stole that stuff, I just want you to know that I hate you and you're a big fat steaming turd. That said, let's take a look at the Quan Fun Lavalier microphone. So the box says Quan Fun. Do best for you, Lavalier microphone. Satisfaction guaranteed 100%. That's always nice. Condenser microphone, omnidirectional, 3.5 millimeter jack TRRS four pin. That means tip ring ring sleeve. Metal clip removable, decrease wind noise wind muff. So I will say I found this replacement Lavalier microphone on uh, Amazon. It's a two for one deal for just under $19, which if it works the way I hope it does, is one heck of a deal. Let's unbox this baby. Inside we have a little leather drawstring bag. It looks like uh, the microphone's inside of it, so we'll save that for last. Uh, actually it looks like there's two bags, one for each mic, which is nice. These actually feel really nice in the hand, and at first glance I thought they might actually be leather, but I don't smell that like really strong, genuine leather smell that you get with leather products, but then again, if you can't tell from my raspy voice, I actually do have a cold, so it's very possible my nose is failing me. Under the leather bags, we have a little Ziploc bag with adapters and clips and windscreen, so I wonder if I have to assemble these microphones. Uh, below that is a Y connector, which should allow both mics to connect to one recording device, and that's pretty handy. Next up, we have two 79-inch extension cords, and that's pretty crazy. So each microphone already has a 59-inch uh, wire attached to it, which is just under four feet, basically. So uh, having 79 inch extension cords actually means you can set your subject about 11 and a half feet away from your recording device, which is great because having a really short cable uh, can often get in the way of a video production. So having a long one like this will be fantastic. And actually, I bet you can connect both extensions together on one microphone to get like 18 feet of, of distance from your recording device, which would be really cool and something I want to test now just in case because uh, that could be a cool use if the quality doesn't degrade the longer you make your cable, which I'm sure it will at a certain point. Finally, let's take a look at the mics themselves. They're actually a pretty decent build quality. It feels hefty in the hand and doesn't appear to be made of a cheap plastic. Uh, the metal clip seems pretty strong, and I am noticing these are fully assembled, which means the clips and windscreens and stuff in that bag are extras, which is nice to have extras. There's also a little manual thing down here at the bottom that explains the different adapters. Uh, this small one is for different phone connectors. The second is conversion to TRS jacks, which is one ring less than a TRRS jack, and uh, pretty common for PCs and cameras. Then, of course, the Y connector, which we've already covered. On the back, we have a photo of the mic with a list of features we've already covered. Uh, technical specs, complete with frequency range graphs for the nerds. Then we get to the features and notes section, which uh, was a little hard to follow. So features, easy to use. You just need to plug the microphone on your device directly. It's suitable for interview, YouTube, video recording, broadcasting, classroom setting, and network scene K-Song, etc. So I don't know if K-Song is a specific app or if it's just like slang or shorthand for like karaoke apps in general. I searched the Google Play Store, couldn't find any app called uh, K-Sing or Network Sing. Uh, and then I checked the Apple App Store and I found one, but I don't know, again, if that's what they're referring to or, or if K-Sing is just like a, a generic term. I did find this interesting under features. It's Kevlar reinforced cable ensures you never stretch or snap your mic under normal usage conditions. Uh, then we get another mention of K-Song under the notes section, uh, for features of the network seeing K-Song, you need to install the K-Song software in your mobile phone first. You can download the software app which you want to sing, then fully plug the mic into your phone and clip it on your lapel. Open the software, you can freely sing and recording your songs and share it with your fans or friends. You can also sing on network karaoke with your friends at the same time. Your phone will not go to headphone mode when the mic be plugged in. 
Then they explain you need to have a compatible device and you may need the lightning cable adapter for your iPhone stating, you already have it inside iPhone box, it is slightly hidden. And of course, never open microphone by yourself when problems appeared. Instead, contact Quanfun, they are standing by to assist you. So you're probably wondering if this microphone sounds any good. Like, when you record using it, is the, is the audio quality crisp and clear? Uh, is, it, is it suitable for uh, YouTube production or uh, allowing my students to use for their video and media productions? Uh, and I'll, I'll let you tell me, as I have been using this microphone throughout this entire video. So all the sounds you're hearing uh, in this video, other than the background music, have been recorded using this microphone. So let me know down below what you think of it. Also, uh, I noticed there's not a whole lot of, of movement noise. Like a lot of times with lapel mics, as your actor or subject moves around, you'll hear a lot of <laughs> sound. And I don't get a lot of that with this microphone, at least not in the few tests that I have done. Also, this microphone is incredibly sensitive, which uh, can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. I personally think it's a good thing because you, know, you can always control uh, the gain or volume of what you're recording in the app or device you're using to record it. Um, so having a sensitive microphone means you don't have to rely on like the angle of the microphone, like you don't have to have it pointed directly at their mouth, which is something you do have to worry about with a lot of cheaper lapel mics. Um, you also uh, don't have to worry about whether or not the person speaking can project or will understand that they have to project when they're speaking, uh, because this microphone will pick them up pretty much no matter what. In fact, I actually had to go into my CPU BIOS settings and change my motherboard to work in whisper mode so that this microphone wouldn't pick up the fan on my computer over there. Uh, so that's pretty freaking sensitive. Uh, so it's got that going for it, which is nice. So as for recording devices, I'm just using my phone and a recording app at the moment. Uh, seems to do a pretty good job. Also allows you to put the recording device in your subject's pocket while it records, which is handy for a lot of things. Like you can't always have a wire strung across the room. So very handy thing to do. I'm also going to do a test now uh, to see if adding the extra extension cables uh, actually like ruins the quality at all. So, uh, uno momento. Check one, two. So I'm back. I stopped the video. I checked to see if it sounds any worse with an extra, uh, extra long cable. We're now doing 18 feet worth of cable. And I didn't notice any difference at all in the quality. Uh, if there is a dip in audio quality, it's, it's far too subtle for me to notice. And I have pretty good ears when it comes to that sort of thing. So I think you're safe to use the 18 feet worth of cable. I wouldn't, you know, push it too much further than that. Typically, uh, audio signal will degrade the longer you go. So 18 seems to be a pretty safe uh, length. Don't go too much further than that. So now I'm going to do a quick test of uh, the difference between the lapel mic audio and my camera's audio, because I am also recording audio with just my camera's built-in microphone right now. And the reason why I'm gonna do this test is because obviously if you're using a lapel mic, uh, you want that audio to be as good, if not better, than the microphone in your camera. Like otherwise why use a microphone, right? So we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison here real quick. I'm just gonna say like the opening to every video I've ever done in my entire life. And you guys can tell me which one sounds better in the comments down below. So first off, let's do the lapel microphone since it's right here. Uh, here we go. Hey everybody, JCB here at The Awesomest, and you're watching The Awesomest YouTube channel. And now we'll do a, a version with the camera's uh, microphone. So let's hear what that sounds like. Hey everybody, JCB here at The Awesomest, and you're watching The Awesomest YouTube channel. So yeah, that's the that's the side-by-side -side comparison. Um, typically with a lapel mic, it being closer to your subject, you get less room noise, less echo off the walls. Uh, it, it's a little bit more um, up close and personal sounding. Let me know down below. Well, if it sounds better with the lapel mic or the camera mic. Uh, there's probably a lot of jump cuts in this video. Do want to apologize for that. Uh, I'm just kind of all over the place today. I might have a fever. Took some uh, sleepy time medicine about an hour ago. And uh, yeah, so I do apologize if things are a little jumpy and cutty in this video. So to summarize, I am 100% satisfied uh, with my purchase. This is a great replacement for the microphone that got stolen by a big fat turd. Uh, and being a two-for-one deal makes it even more amazing and, and, and worth every single penny. You get two microphones for less than $19. That's insane. So I'm definitely going to be bringing this to school and letting my kids use it. And if it gets stolen, uh, that sucks and, and it'll be terrible. I'll have to buy another one. And eventually I'll go broke and be homeless because I bought too many lapel microphones. 
Uh, but in the meantime, my students will have a decent quality microphone they can use for interviews or any other uh, simple audio setups that they want to do, which is always fantastic. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this microphone in the comments down below. I release new videos uh, kind of sporadically. Uh, I'm getting better. Uh, soon my big housing project will be done and I'll have all this crap out of my room and I'll have some more free time in the evenings. I'll be able to post more often. Uh, but until then, Keep being awesome. Hey guys, it's me from like three hours from now while I'm editing this. And I just want to say that effect you just saw, that transition. Yeah, that one, that was not a breeze. And I have nobody to blame but myself because normally when I do any kind of visual effects, I put the camera on a tripod like a smart person.